Bienvenue to the series of work of art. Our lives are made up of a series of milestone events. So graduations, weddings, baby showers, and starting new jobs. These moments of our lives are immortalized in the picture frames scattered throughout our homes. And now, in the age of social media, these photos make these milestones available to anyone with a smartphone or an internet connection. So right now, it is more important than ever that these photographic milestones display a sense of style that is suitable for framing. So as I said, in your life, you'll have many milestone events. For the episode of this series, we will be looking at what to wear for the milestone event of a wedding. Now, if you're getting married, you already know what to wear. I'll give you a hint. It's long, it's formal, with white all over. But if you're a guest at a wedding, what do you wear? So whether it is the milestone wedding of a cousin or the girl in your sorority that you thought would never find a man, aka the hairy potato, this is still going to be a turning point in their life. And you, my friend, will be fashionable in every frame that is snapped at this event. And hey, you may even make it into the photo album. So now I'm going to give you some ideas of how you can repurpose some things that are currently in your wardrobe so that you can wear them to a wedding. So the first one is a work dress. So a lot of times this could be just a simple like A-line dress that you wear with a blazer or a sheath dress that you usually wear to work. You can actually repurpose that for a wedding and switch up um, the jacket that you would wear to it. And of course to dress it up, you're gonna have to um, really think about the accessories that you wear with it so that it is wedding appropriate and doesn't look like work attire. Another area that I find inspiration on what to wear for a wedding is to actually look at my handbags. And usually my clutch purses are ones that I wear to special events. So I'll look at them and try to get inspired on what to wear. And then last but not least, in your shoe closet, <laughs> and I don't mean like you have a closet dedicated towards nothing but shoes. That would be awesome if we all did. But if you look at your shoe wardrobe, you probably have some heels that are considered kind of dress up heels. And so for those, a lot of times I will seek those for inspiration. So I go, I really like these heels. I'd like to wear them again. What sort of outfit can I put together for a wedding to wear with these shoes? Because again, the way that you're gonna take like an outfit that you tr normally wear to work to make it wedding appropriate, you're gonna dress it up. And usually the shoes and accessories are the ways that you're able to do that. Now I'm going to put together an outfit, like I said, using the shoes as a source of inspiration and then going, okay, what outfit can I make for that that's appropriate for a wedding? So here we go. So you can see here, using the color in the shoes, I decided on a forest green dress and it has the lace accents on there. Um, very trendy right now. It's a little bit um, form fitting. I really like this dress with those shoes. The shoes really dress this up, but again, you're going to do the accessories to dress it up as well. So you have the statement necklace, and because you have the statement necklace, you know, that's very um, overpowering to an outfit. So you do very simple earrings to complement that because the necklace is the, the thing that draws the eye. That's the focus. So you have um, the necklace. Um, I paired a cocktail ring with it. And actually I was looking for a quarter screen. You're going to look at an emerald. And of course, uh, initially I was thinking of a green that's the exact same green in the shoes as the dress. But actually I wanted something a little bit different. A green that was a little bit different color. Again, not to be too matchy matchy. And then just a very simple stylish coat um, to wear over it because usually um, you know you're at a wedding you're dancing all night long and you want to have something very stylish to wear to and from the wedding and of course it helps protect your clothes on your way to the wedding so you make sure you still look very nice once you get there so that's really it you looked at the shoes and figured out what I can wear to match the shoes now, if you want to follow me in the milestones of my life, which are when I add different pieces to my wardrobe, those are the big milestones of my life, um, you can follow me on Instagram. Like I said, I resisted doing, um, creating an Instagram profile for a long time because I was trying to think of what I could do different with it. So my Instagram is dedicated towards where I shop. So if you want to know where I actually personally shop and places that I go to online and offline, um, you will want to follow me on there and you can see the different pieces that I pick out and where I am shopping. 
So, so far we have tackled many different milestone events. We've looked at graduation, we looked at the first day on the job, we looked at what to wear to a wedding, and then on the next video we are going to take a look at the next milestone, which of course is a baby, and actually what to wear to a baby shower. And I'm going to give you some ideas, so again, you can look picture perfect when you attend any baby shower, so you'll look great in the picture frame as well as any pictures that appear on social media. That's it for this episode of Work of Art. Make sure to please exit through the gift shop. Thank you for watching.